everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to insert a Foley catheter into a female patient. So let's head to the lab, wash our hands, provide patient privacy, Alright, Mrs. Johnson, we're going to be inserting a Foley catheter into your bladder today. Is that alright? That's okay. Okay, she says it's okay. So let's get started on our female patient. So you want the bed at a nice working height for you so you don't have to bend over and hurt your back. And then you want to get your patient set up. So roll the blankets down and have them bend their knees and open their hips. The key to a good Foley is getting them in a good position and having good lighting. So let's do a female Foley on this patient. So we're gonna open our package. If you watch the video about the mail, this is the same package, okay? This is just the same package. Um, it's for practice. This is a 12 French and we can put five mLs of fluid into the balloon. So let's open our package. Get rid of this stuff. We're going to open our sterile package the correct way. So away from us, side, side, towards us, and then I always do a little turn like that. And remember our border, one inch, not sterile. I'm going to put on my gloves. And I'm trying to do this, showing you what I'm doing, but also trying not to break sterility while I'm showing you what I'm doing. So bear with me here for a sec. Okay. And yes, this happens. They, the gloves like to do this. It's very crinkly, so they like to do that and fold back up on you. So you only, only want to touch this part of the glove because this is going to be the inside that touches your hand. Now we're going to have to put on our second glove and we're going to sneak our hand, our sterile gloved hand, onto that little cuff, if you can see it here, of the other glove to put the glove on correctly without actually touching anything. Okay, so now we have our sterile gloves on. We can pinch this in the middle because this part's sterile and get rid of it. And now we can prepare all of our items. So the first two things we have are our drape that's going to go underneath the patient and then our one that's going to go um, around the patient, covering their um, genitals, only exposing the area that we need. So shiny side down. We're going to place this down with trying not to touch anything else. Then we're going to use our cover. Our drape has an opening in it. We're going to place it right here on our patient. Okay, now we're going to prepare all of our things. So we're going to open our swab sticks. These are our betadine swabs. So you want to make sure that uh, you're asking your patient if they're allergic to shellfish or if they're allergic to latex when you do a Foley catheter. So here are our swabs. And we have alternatives. We have non-latex catheters and then we also have uh, chlorhexidine instead of uh, betadine swabs. So we got our betadine swabs out. We'll open our lubricant. And then we can get our catheter prepared. I like to prepare mine ahead of time. So I get my sterile water solution and put it in. Some manufacturers will have you test the balloon prior to insertion. Some will say, please do not test the balloon because the idea is testing the balloon could cause it to stretch out, uh, making it more um, difficult to insert into the patient. But I'm gonna show you what testing the balloon looks like. So we've hooked up our sterile water and then we're just gonna slowly push some in and see how it starts to get bigger. So we know the balloon is intact and it's working. And then we'll just get rid of the water, okay, before we put it in the patient. Now we're ready to contaminate one of our hands. 
So since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna contaminate my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. And this is a little bit trickier on a female patient uh, because you have to hold it open with your fingers. You have to hold open the labia. So we're gonna hold it open. We're gonna take one swab. We're gonna do furthest away from us first. Get rid of it. Then the next one, we're gonna do closest to us. Get rid of it. And then finally, our third one is gonna go down the middle. And then get rid of it. Then we're gonna take our tubing. You can see it here. Uh, we're gonna take our catheter, dip it in our lubricant, and then we're ready to insert it into the patient. So I have them take a deep breath. Tell them it shouldn't hurt, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. And then go ahead and insert. You insert until you see urine return. Once you see urinary return, you know you're good. We don't have to be sterile anymore. We can get rid of our things. And now we can inflate our balloon. Once our balloon's inflated, give it a tug. That's how we know we're in. It's not coming out. Now we can clean up our mess. And then we're gonna put the tubing with a stat lock on the patient's leg, never under the leg because that can cause a pressure sore. Now we need to attach it to the bed. It's very important that we do not hook this on a movable part of the bed, like a side rail or something like that, okay? We wanna attach it into an immobile part of the bed. So we can attach it right here. And we are below the level of the patient's hips. If we were to do it like up here or something like that, okay, that's gonna cause a backflow of urine, which is gonna cause uh, retention and pain for the patient and possibly infection, okay? So making sure that when we hook the bag, that we're hooking it on a non-mobile part of the bed and that we're hooking it below the level of the patient's waist. Discontinuing a catheter is really quick and easy. It is not sterile and you only need a couple of supplies. So you're gonna wear gloves, of course. You're gonna need an empty syringe and then you're gonna need a washcloth. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your syringe in the port and then you're gonna pull back. Okay, what you're doing here is deflating the balloon. Okay, then you're gonna take your washcloth and you're gonna tell your patient, Okay, take a deep breath, one, two, three, pull, it's out, done, okay? Then you're gonna dispose of the used catheter properly. You're gonna perform pericare or assist the patient to perform pericare. One situation that might occur for a female patient when you're doing a catheter is accidentally inserting it into the wrong spot, so inserting it into the vagina. So if this happens, what I recommend is leave that one in, leave the one that you inserted incorrectly in the vagina, that way it serves as a marker, so when you go to do your next one, you don't insert it into the wrong place twice. So I'm doing this not sterile because I'm just trying to explain. So let's insert the new one while we keep the old one in. And it's easy to go in the right spot because the wrong spot's already being occupied. And then once this one is in and secure and we're happy, then we can just remove the old one and get rid of it. Another trick you might want to use so that you insert the catheter into the meatus and not the vagina is, remember when we did our swab sticks, we did all three of them? The third one goes down the middle, remember? So after that, maybe go down the middle and then it's perfectly safe if you want to stick that into the vagina just to hold its place. That way we know when we go to insert the catheter that we're not going into that same spot and we'll know to go above it and get the meatus. And then once the catheter is in place and we're happy, we got it correct, we got urine return, you can go ahead and take that swab stick out and toss it, get rid of it. So those are just some little uh, extra tips and tricks uh, when it comes to female patients. Female patients can be a little bit more challenging than male patients when it comes to Foley insertion. Not everybody's anatomy is perfect here like the mannequin for practice. So just be aware of that. If they've just had a baby, they've had swelling, maybe they're obese, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. So good technique, good lighting, and if you can get your patient into this position, that's really gonna help you. So we hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.